Welcome back Texans, we had a lot of sports compete this past week and I'm here for the first time to give you your sports recap. Honor courts can now be ordered, we have the details. Plus I'm here with Ms. Leroy and Coach Bailey to give you guys more information about a fun way to support the class of 24. All this and more coming up on NHS TV Live. Good morning Texans and welcome back from spring break. Many sports have played over this last week and sports reporter Jack Dunning is here to catch us up on everything we missed. Jack? Good morning Texans, we have a lot to cover from spring, over spring break. So let's get right into this morning's sports report. Starting off, we had our boys golf play yesterday at Iron Horse Golf Course with Connor Lockwood shooting the best score of 88. Onto the field, boys soccer played two games over spring break. They lost to Colleyville Heritage with the final score being 3-0. And in their second game during spring break, they ended up defeating Den Ryan 3-0. They punched their ticket to playoffs with that win. They play their first playoff game on Thursday against the Wichita Fall, Co Fall Coyotes at Mineral Wells Stadium. Moving on to girls soccer, they played Colleyville Heritage but unfortunately lost 0-3. They also played in a game against Denton Ryan and ended up losing 0-4. Congrats on a great season, girls. Moving on to the Diamond, boys, boys varsity baseball plays today against Grapevine at 7.30 at home. Softball played in three games over spring break. The first game was against Birdville for their senior night and they crushed it 7-0. Softball also played Grapevine twice, winning their first game 10-0, as well as winning their second game 9-2. Softball plays again tonight, away at Lake Dallas. That's all I have for sports today. Now reporter Brady Pickett is here in studio with the Class of 2024 sponsors to get info about how you can help out the sophomore class. Brady? Thank you so much, Jack. I'm here with Ms. Leroy and Coach Bailey to give you guys some more information on the Class of 24's most recent fundraiser. So what is this Donut Sweated event that you guys are holding? It's a run, a 0.5K. It'll be on April 23rd, and it is just a really fun way to get out and uh, represent the class of 2024. You can um, pay faculty and students for $25 to participate, or community members can participate for $35. Okay, perfect. So in that $25, what all is included? Well, they're going to get a really super cute t-shirt, first of all, and then we'll have a finisher's medal. Um, and then at the halfway point, we'll have donut holes for them to have as well. Gotcha. So is what, what is the relation to the donuts and why we're calling it the Donut Sweat It Run? So it's because you're not going to sweat. It's only a 0.5K. Gotcha. It's basically a walk halfway around the block. Um, and so that's kind of where we got the name and why we're including donuts in it. Perfect. And so what's the benefit that's going to be supporting Class of 24 here? Um, so it's going to go towards the Class of 2024 prom so that hopefully in two years we'll be able to have the best prom this school's ever seen. Perfect. So is there anything else you guys would like to add? Um, I mean, this is a great event for you guys to bring your siblings and all your family to because anybody can do it. And we're hoping at the end to have some food trucks or vendors so that you guys maybe will be able to grab a bite to eat at the end. Perfect. Sounds good. Well, thank you both so much for being here this morning and giving us more information on how to support Class of 24. Texans, we hope to see all of you out there in support of our Class of 24. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Brady. Now, seniors, you can purchase your honor cords online now until May 6th. Cost per cord is $10. Please allow for two to three business days for your order to process. You will go to the East office to pick up your order. If you have any questions, please email Ms. Ponce at eponce at nisdtx.org. Now, tonight is the district is hosting a dual credit information night. This event will be virtual and will start at 6.30 p.m. Both students and their parents are welcome to attend. They will discuss how to apply to TCC, TSIA2 requirements, and everything you need to know about dual credit classes. You can view this event at the, at the tiny URL below to receive more information. If you want to express your creative talent or showcase your writing, the Literary Fraction Club might be something you want to check out. Or creative writing is where we discuss publishing our work we'd like to write and then publish it. We also do contests so that other students can get involved with the literary faction even though they can't necessarily get to our meetings on Wednesdays. They can still get involved by um, bringing in or submitting uh, poetry, lyrics, short plays, short novels, um, that kind of thing, different literary things, different genres that they can actually submit for a contest or just submit so we can publish that for a, um, the Voices of NHS. If you have any questions regarding the Literary Faction Club, be sure to contact Ms. Nettleton at justine.nettleton to nisdtx.org. Tune in to tomorrow's show to see another woman on campus who works to showcase Women's History Month. 
Also, don't forget, school now releases at 4.03 p.m. to make up from the time we lost due to the snow days. Texans, we are in the home stretch. There are 46 days left of school to go, so let's finish strong. And on that note, have a great first day back, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.